Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain parent side how to show like a student. We have already done, but we need to show also. Suppose I will click on the my student, so we need to show this is the student, whatever the subject. So parent side, we need to put here one button like a my subjects, so parent can see he is a student subjects. Last video, I will show you student side how to show subject. He is a subject. So in this video, we can do like this. Parents are also see he is a son subjects. So let's log in for this parents. I just edit and I will password for him one two three four five six because I don't know what the password. So I just change the password. I log out. Now I go to events and I put one two three four five six. Okay. Now I log in. So you can see it here, like we already did like one minute, my students. So this is the student we have already assigned for these parents. So inside we need to show inside action to here my subject. He click on the my subject button. So this is the student, whatever subject we have assigned using the class wise, like this class wise, whatever subject we have assigned. So we need to show. Let's show you inside admin side first. Uh, I click that again. I, okay, so I log in as the admin. I am using new browser so we can do it quickly so I go to assign subjects so you can see it like this is the SS1 class so you can assign like uh, this subject this subject this subject so that in the add new assign subject so you can just need to choose and you can assign here subject multiple assign can subject you can submit so you can see it here okay so in this video we can do like a student sides like a sorry let's uh, means that parents side need to show he's a student my subject so just go to action action inside we can put like my subject because whatever class there this class id against we can find out the subject here so inside database i can show you we have already made connection class subject so is the here class id and here subject id user table inside you can find out here class id let's go to here class 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 okay you can see the class id the class id okay let's back to code again and develop so just need to go my students inside uh, parent sites and after we can put here another button my subject so let's go to resources inside need to go parents parent inside need to go my students let's um, make a zoom out and inside you need to create a one column another column action and here we can type like a one button my subject otherwise you can type just subject because this is this parent side so we can create the URLs parent my student subject slash student id because we need to pass new parameter student id so you can put here student id okay let's back again and if it is case first of all we can add one class btn btn primary also make a small button btn sm So showing the small button. I reset the page so you can see it here. Accent at subject. Suppose I will click on the subject. So this is the student. Whatever subject there for this class, we need to show inside new page. So I click on the subject. So this is the routes not found. So let's create a, these routes. So just go to back again to code inside routes. Inside click on the web dot php. Click the admin teacher student. So we need to create here. subjects you can pass here student id and here we can change subject controller because we have already there subject controller here you can type like a parent subject parent student subject parent student subject we need to create a this function go to subject controller inside f 
HTTP in the controller inside you can see it's subject control we have already made last time my subject in students part so we can do now is a parent part parent side you can type or student side you can type whatever I said student side okay so we just need to create functions and here we have already put like a student ID you can see it here and here you can see it here okay so let's make a DD so you can understand easily. I will say and I will refresh the page so you can see it 40 and with you can showing where is the comment you did so 89 lines so you can see it here 89 line okay so we need to get the user data so users users get single student ID because inside users we can find out the class ID so this is the users model we need to declare here so here add models users okay so let's go to back again I mean, so let's go to user controllers and here you can see it like a get single because we will write before function so I will declare here okay so just copy above line code and put here and here you can type like a student subject and here is a class subject inside you need to pass like a class id so user inside you can find out class id just you can change here to class id and this is the function we have already created last video but i will show you again okay go to class subject models and here you can see it my subjects so class subjects inside we have made a joint query the subject id again so you can see it here uh, let's go to class subjects so you can see class id so class id again joint query here, here subject id subject id joint query again there and users who is created by this class id again joint query there and we have where condition 3 like uh, status is equal to 0 means the active is not deleted means 1 so it's not deleted and class id means dollar class id so whatever class we can pass inside for the students so this is the data you can get you can see it here get so let's make it here so our data get users or get student whatever do you want to like you can type i like it get users okay so now you can change to your parent to your parent, my student subject is a file name my student subjects okay so just go to resources inside go to views inside you need to go parents inside you need to create a new files my student subject blade.php so file successfully created so this is the file you need to see just go to students inside you need to click on the my subjects and just copy and put it there so because we have did last time everything let's remove some spaces it look like it's not great otherwise do you want to use so you just go to google and here you can type html formatter and just click on the first link pre formatters and put here your code and click on the format new windows and just copy and put here so everything you can format you can see it now is a good so you can easily understand here is a, like a table started here the table closing everything you can understand easily okay let's go back again page and refresh the page so i refresh the page so you can see it like a student subject and here subject type showing subject name showing so let's change this title and also we need to make here name of the student so you can understand okay this is the student we are showing otherwise you are click where the click i know your student name there but we can do here so you can easily understand okay this is the student name because this is the student know any subject you can see it here let's go here i think also this one not there but i will show you okay so let's go here for these subjects and here we can show is a change the title subject student and also we can show here student name so let's go to that again I okay just even see it's student subjects and here you bracket you can write name of the student because we already pass here get user inside data and data we have pass here you can see it here so I go back then 
here is the name and also you can type last name with the database column name there I can show you inside user tables so just you can go user tables name and last name this is another type name and last name I have go back again I have the page so you can see student subjects I think I have made another place I can make so look like better just go up and here you can make and just change the student subjects otherwise you can type my student subject like this looks also with my student subject so you can see it here my student subject other student subject whatever do you want to like let's think the mind we don't need this words mind so you can understand easily this reason we will put here name i think we can change this color also so just you can create a spam spam and you can put inside all the code and here you can use a style attribute css color is equal to blue i think blue is good so just type the blue go back again and it is the page so this is the color showing different so you can easily understand okay so let's back again my students inside i will click on the subject so you can see it here is no found in subjects why because this is the class not assign any subject so let's go to admin sites and i will assign some subject for this class so ss2 i assign only social and mathematics i click the submit okay so here is the assignment you can see ss2 so just go to back again parent sites and click on the students inside click on the subjects so you can see two subjects with here showing the name of the students so you can see it's the parent said what i did my subject inside i have created one man subject and subject inside i can show only he is a student whatever subject is there for the class so this is the we are showing here so i hope you are clear so you can check again code like i show you slowly slowly here we have created one routes and here also we have created one menu so you can see it here on this menu is a click on so it's going to this controllers on this controller inside we have created a class object model inside we have created a my subject one functions so this is the functions this is the class id again we are getting the data of these subjects okay i think everything is clear and i will show you here codings and i hope you want to like so please like our videos and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching